the dot coms, right? They're coming in and they're trying to automate this. And we haven't even touched upon that yet, right? The dot coms are coming in trying to automate the industry. I think that's going to be pretty difficult. Well, they're to going. Do, they're but, going to do it, Emilio. Like they're going to automate the industry in a sense that the transaction is going to go much smoother than than it has in the past. That being said, mm -hmm. you're still going to need agents to guide that process and that automation. It's not going to eliminate an agent. This is a physical business getting in and out of properties. There's that aspect. Mm -hmm. There's the aspect of understanding the neighborhood, the nuances of pricing. Technology will, though, help us get the minutiae out of the, the coordination of the transaction between banks, attorneys, um, inspectors and and that whole entire process and there, there's quite a bit i've read somewhere that there's 52 people involved in one transaction yep you know 183 steps it's it's insane it's and, it may, to make and, your, your and here's the thing i i i do believe that some of the automation is going to eliminate some of those people well i think i like think it, so too you know it, it's not going to eliminate the good agents but it's going to eliminate a lot of them. Well, I, I look at it, so you've heard of the Pareto principle before yep. the 80-20 rule, right? So 20% of the agents are doing 80% of the work. I actually think it's like 10% are doing 90% of the work. Yeah. 90% are doing 10% of the work. Um, and I do believe that those folks that aren't, you know, hip with the times, or those agents that just aren't great with technology, or the ones that aren't providing a ton of value are gone. The ones that I, just aren't taking this as a business. The ones that are your part-time, look, yeah. look and, and nothing against part-time agents. I hope you get into it full-time. But if you're looking at this as like, you know, something you can do on the weekends or, you know, at nights or whatever. Dude, it, I have everything. not how it goes. Well, I, I'll say this. I have nothing against part-time agents. I have everything against the part-time agent that thinks they can stroll into this business 20 hours a week and then be one of the, the best. Yeah. Like, you better set your expectations. Like, I don't know who you're going to help in 20 hours a week. This is a grind. Yeah. I mean, how many hours do you work in a week? Uh, well over a hundred. I love it. I don't. I don't sleep much. Right. I'm working. I get. I got three calls this week alone mm -hmm. from people that are jumping into real estate because now we're, the market's trending up. Everybody's jumping into real estate school. Everybody's going to school now to, to get their license, right? And they're asking me the wrong questions. Right? They haven't even gone through the class, and they're asking me which brokerages should I be looking at. I'm here, and this. I said, dude, 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 dude. the broker. You should be looking at who's actually doing what you aspire to be. So yes. if you aspire to be a full-time real estate professional and do 100 deals a year, 200 deals a year, you better find somebody, a team, or somebody that's doing 100, 200, 300 deals a year. And then you just better go to that person and say, listen, I don't care what the splits are. I don't care what I'm going to be paid. I, I don't care about anything. I just want to roll with you. I just want to latch on. I'll yep. work for the four letter word that everybody hates free yep for a little while yep to learn the craft and actually get to the place that you aspire to be but everybody thinks they're going to take the 60 hour class what is it in Rhode Island uh it's 45 it's even more pathetic in Rhode Island it's 45 <laughs> hours and then they think they're going to be an expert